So today guys we check out a new DLC for Legendary Shotgun. It's called the Blind Sage, it's a Maliwan weapon, so we kinda know what to expect. But is this new Legendary actually any good? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. Also subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. And before we go any further guys, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, link to view in that video description. So this Blind Sage is a shotgun, which to be honest, I ain't really too sure about. On a personal level, I do feel shotguns are limited, and for this reason alone, I don't much use them. I mean there's that odd time when they release them with DLCs or events and you get that one that is just stupid overpowered like the Anarchy but overall I'd probably say they are my least used weapon. Now when I saw this drop which by the way I believe is a will drop and it's dedicated boss drop is Locomobius that big old dirty train located on Sapphire's run but when I first saw it drop seeing it up on the floor it immediately got my attention due to what it offers besides that wild damage stat. Damaging an enemy applies a debuff to that enemy, which lasts 8 seconds. Kill the enemy before 8 seconds is up and it fires a projectile. This got my attention straight away. Weapons that benefit from buffs and debuffs for some reason grab my attention. So I jumped straight into the system of slaughter to see what this thing was capable of. And well, I'm still not sure about it. Watching how it works, it doesn't actually seem to shoot anything but an energy blast and we've seen this on previous Maliwan shotguns. A blast which sometimes does great damage, and other times just tickles that enemy. Now the debuffed enemy and that projectile, I can tell you does some great damage. But other than that, I wouldn't, if I'm honest, rate this shotgun that high. Now I play a particular way, using mainly Zane, and this just doesn't fit what I look for in weapons, especially shotguns. But it might be different for you, you may be watching this video seeing something great about this weapon that will fit your build. And I actually think this is that kind of weapon. I think it's a kind of weapon where you're either going to love it or hate it. Now this Blind Sage, I do believe, like all Malawans or most Malawan weapons, has the option to switch between two elements. And any elements at that, I do believe. So that's a good thing. But yeah guys, all in all, for me, it just isn't that great of a weapon for the way I play. Its damage is slacking, considering its damage stat value on that item card. And using it to be dependent on that debuff projectile just isn't worth it in my opinion. So yeah, I recommend you at least try this weapon out, but for me, it just really doesn't suit my playstyle. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more BR3, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.